looks like we got here 2007 Lamborghini Gallardo this is the first generation of the V10 Lamborghini what some people might call an entry-level exotic car to me there's no such thing as an entry-level exotic car there goes a performante I think that's my client Tom but uh yeah let's take this thing for a spin old school key this car here is finished in giallo yellow calipers black and yellow interior smells nice in here too Italian leather 07 all-wheel drive 5.0 liter with roughly 8700 miles navigation let's uh start this thing up let's see what it's got smooth start put my seatbelt on gotta get comfortable set up my seat set up my steering wheel sure you guys can see everything that I see take the handbrake off the Gardo is nice it's a little bit more of an aggressive drive you feel a little bit more connected to the car than you do I think in the Huracan Huracan is almost too perfect of a car which almost sounds crazy to say but it's true uh, Huracan is just so good you get in and go there's no learning curve to it so in this car I think for some people you might need uh, to get a little bit acquainted with the car before you feel super comfortable with uh, driving it and when I say driving I mean driving it more often you know uh, with this generation of exotic cars people do tend to put a lot more miles than they did back in the days you know, we're seeing people do 5,000, 7,500, 10,000 miles a year. You know, I got guys that are clients of mine that are doing 20,000 miles a year in some of their exotic cars, and not just the Urus. So, um, yeah, we let the engine warm up a little bit. We're going to hit the paddle, throw the car into first. Again, if you guys know me, I like to drive everything in sport, so I'll put the car in sport. A little bit more aggressive drive. All right, let's take this thing for a spin. Maserati today is such a beautiful day for a test drive what I like about this car is you feel every shift that little hesitation I know that bothers some people but I like it I want to feel connected with the car I want to know what I'm doing. I don't want to be half asleep behind the wheel driving in automatic. For that, I might as well be playing a video game at home. And I don't like video games. I like the real world. Nice downshift. Super aggressive. Let's see how it sounds in this overpass or underpass. Pretty good. 
good. This car feels amazing. 2007, this car drives super smooth. 8,700 miles, so it was barely driven. The car was garage kept. Let's go this way. We'll drive through the town a little bit. downshifts super aggressive I love that I like to hear the car when I'm driving normally I'd have the windows down but you guys probably wouldn't be able to hear me with all the wind noise I think the heated seats were on it's too hot out today for that cars but they're afraid of laying out all the money for some of these cars that are in the quarter million range half a million range this is something that you can get into for not that much more than the price of your average highline mercedes or bmw car so this is a great way to introduce yourself to the brand get into a v10 something with 500 plus horsepower all-wheel drive e-gear transmission, navigation, rear camera. Let's see. hesitation I mean really I think you just need to man up and drive manual and if you find yourself a Gallardo with actual third pedal I mean that's a home run because that's a unicorn in itself but with the e-gear shifting is where it's at Takes the bumps in the road pretty well as well. I'm gonna open the windows. Hopefully, you guys can uh, still hear me, but I wanna see if you can hear some of this motor as well. Guys, uh, admiring the car. 
I don't know, you might have this one. <laughs> engine sounds amazing the sound really never gets old I mean honestly when you're buying these cars you're really buying it for the sound and the feel the look the enjoyment that you get the excitement from other people when you're pulling up next to them it's almost like they get to enjoy it as much as you do which is great skies sunny it's warm out finally here in the tri-state area when it hits 50 60 degrees for us that's like summertime we're ready I'm ready to break out my shorts and stay outside all night some new construction in the area to be in a position where I get to drive all of these different cars and experience all of them but that's kind of why I started making videos because I want you guys to experience that with me and then hopefully maybe some of you at some point will come and maybe even purchase a car from me but if not it's all good I just want you to enjoy this with me That's it, back home. 